I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. Canceling the debt of others. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love our videos, if you love what we're doing, pass it on the faith to the next generation. Pass it on the faith to the next generation. Like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get the app. It's on Google, Amazon, and iTunes. And donate. Your tax-deductible gift keeps higher things a youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation. Keeps us a rolling. And we need your gift in these dark times. Philemon. We're going to look at, on Bible study here, the 17th verse. And so if you consider me a communicant with you, Paralabu, receive him as you receive me. If he has um, caused you damage or owes you anything, charge it to me, charge it to my account. And this is verse 17 and 18. Remember, Philemon was a slave owner. Onesimus was a slave. Onesimus fled Philemon, which is illegal in the Roman world, escaped and ran into St. Paul. Paul preached the gospel to him. Paul taught him the faith. He got him in chains, became his father in the faith, loved him. But because of the law, Paul sends him back to Philemon. Onesimus can be killed. So Paul pleads for Onesimus. And what he says is so magnificent. If you consider me a fellow communicant, and Philemon owes Paul his very salvation. Paul was the preacher who converted Philemon. Philemon, if you love me at all, if you think of me as a fellow communicant with you in the faith, really? Really? Oh, it's orange. You like this one better, huh? Okay. High five. Good boy. If you consider me a fellow worker in the faith with you, Receive, receive Onesimus as you receive me. Think about this. Paul takes the place of the slave. Paul wants to pay the penalty for Onesimus. Paul, wants to, Paul says, if he owes you anything, if you have any anger against him, if he's wronged you anyway, and Onesimus has wronged him, charge it to my account. Charge it to my account. I'll pay for it. Receive him as you would receive me. And this is so important because it tells you about the Paul's view of slavery and the whole thing. What matters is not how you were born. What matters is not the color of your skin. What matters is not your social position in all of this. What is most important is Christ. And we should take on the sins of others in order to free them from them. Because in the end, what matters is not whether you're Jewish or not, whether or not you're um, an American or not, whether or not you're male or female, slave or free. What matters is Christ. Suffering for all, dying for all, rising again for all, living for all. Think about that the next time you go to the Lord's Supper. You look around to the people you commune with, the people in your life. You've been bodied and blooded together with them. As you've been bodied and blooded together with the whole Christian church on earth, brought together and won. Christ for all. Christ for you. Christ for those around you. I'm Pastor George Borkhart, and you missed.
and a Thor that never catches the tree. And this has been another Higher Things video short.